So this is a Bosch drill from our cloud library. If you guys have not been using the cloud library, you can find it down here. It's a uh, great tool. Let me see if we can load it up here for you guys to see. Uh, all kinds of, of stuff being uploaded regularly. Uh, we have a model library, which is where this Bosch hammer came from. And we have all kinds of models for you to populate your scenes or practice lighting, practice rendering, whatever you want. They're all there for you. Uh, also a slew of different materials and environments, super useful tool. But this Bosch hammer can be found under the model section if you'd like to play around with it. And we're going to be uh, messing with the normals on this part over here. So if I click on that and I go to tools in the ribbon and I open up our flip normals tool, oh, let's make sure this is selected. There we go. All right, so our flip normals tool. Now you can see that part inside of a fairly familiar looking window. If you've done any UV unwrapping um, or, or you know splitting faces, it's is a, a fairly familiar window. Um, so down here we have a show face normals. I like to use that just because it gives me a visual representation using these little hairs of where my normals are actually pointing. Um, and so what you're seeing here, anywhere that's gray, the normals are facing outward, while red areas are showing my normals facing inward. And we don't want that. We want all our normals facing the camera, right? Um, you're kind of seeing it going on in the Bosch hammer as well, but that's because there's a different uh, geometry that's actually making that up. So if you see red there, don't worry about it because you're actually seeing the inside of the part. But for the rest of the part, we want to fix these normal issues. So you can do this two ways. You can either select the face that you'd like to flip that normal. These items will no longer be grayed out. You can either deselect or you can flip normals. And when you flip your normals, your area that's been flipped should automatically uh, change to white or uh, to, to the gray color that exists with the rest of them. If you don't want to select individual parts, you can hit the auto align normals at the top and it should take care of all your normals throughout your entire model. Your logo is a separate piece of geometry, so you're actually seeing inside of the part. But other than that, everything else is got the correct normals now. And then when you're done, you can hit apply, but a quick little thing, you have your display height. Um, usually I just work with the display height at uh, at one, It's it gets the point of cross, but if you really wanted to get crazy, you can you know pull this all the way up to 10 and, and just have your normals blasting everywhere. But a, a very useful tool, especially if you're having issues with mapping different types of materials or textures. Mm -hmm.